Hello guys. Almost every one of us is using pivot tables and quite frequently and some of us are repeatedly using it. So this means that we have a certain set of data and we are repeatedly using pivot tables every month, every week or every day probably. So how can we make a small macro that can help us with making a pivot table with a click and also formatting it for us. So I will take you to an example. I have a sample data here. So whenever you have to record a macro, you have to go to developer. How to reach developer and how to enable it. I'll put a link down there so you can see directly from this video, the developer enablement. So once you have your developer tab, which you can see here, this is developer, it's on your ribbon. You can see there's a record macro button. That is the button that you have to use. So let's record our macro. So before you start recording the macros, make sure that you have relative references enabled. So I will enable this relative reference just to make sure that wherever I apply this macro at any cell address, it should be applicable. Then there is this record macro button in your developer tab. So click on record macro it will ask you for a number i will give it a name rather test macro and if you want to give it a shortcut key you can give it a shortcut key as well for example control anything but don't give it control c or p the windows standard shortcut keys for copy and paste and etc etc Keep it simple. I will rather keep it very simple and I will not assign it any shortcut key. I will simply press OK. That's the syntax error it shows, which means that there is a gap between the name convention. So I'll have to put an underscore here. Now it should work fine. Now the macro has started recording and you can see in the bottom here, you can click here and stop the record of the macro. Now, when I click, when I change, when I color, when I do anything, it will do and repeat it in future whenever I will run this macro. So it is kind of recording all my steps and activities. So what I will do is now I will go to insert pivot tables and I will select the range of the data that is in the other spreadsheet and I will create a table. I will put the invoice numbers here. I'll put the invoice values here. I have this macro created pivot table ready. You can add further steps as well. For example, in the filters, if you want to add something, etc., etc., you can do that. So now our macro is done. I would like to stop it here. Activities which I performed, I hope and expect that Microsoft Excel has recorded them. So I'll go back to developer macros if you had your macro shortcut key assigned it would have been only the shortcut key and it will run the macro since i didn't assign a shortcut key i had to go through developer macros where i can see all the macros recorded in this workbook here test underscore macro was our macro i will simply run this macro and you see uh, excel has repeated the steps that i did and created one small pivot table for me you can make different complex pivot tables as well depending on your need and requirement excel will remember those pivot tables and will help you with saving time once you repeat it every time you don't have to go through all the formatting all the setup everything will be done by excel so you can create now your own macros go ahead guys enjoy the field try on the field and learn and save your time I hope you enjoyed it. Looking forward to speak to you again. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.